then you would agree that it's really a substantial step forward or it, it is so so i guess in in terms of uh in, in terms of unlocking the potential to to continue to improve further we've done more in the last two years than probably had been done in the previous 10 to 15 years and um, but i guess like bruno said you know i guess so so to give you an idea we have i have a we have a google alert set up uh for for machine translation in the office and we get it every couple of days and you kind of you worry every time okay there's a new one and you, and you kind of look through it and it's some kind of regular news and then you see the new press release that kind of proclaims something um, and, and you kind of hang your head and you're kind of waiting for the emails to come in from people asking you oh can you do this as well um, and so I guess there's been a history uh, uh, at least from there's not, there hasn't been enough of a history of expectation management from from providers of machine translation so it's a really delicate balance to try and strike between championing something which is really, really, really promising and, and is changing how, how things are, are being developed and it's going to change how things will go in the future, but also kind of tempering that a little bit to make sure that it doesn't get out of control because I guess where we are with neural machine translation is, like we said, with statistical, we'd probably kind of hit uh, the end of the road. There, there wasn't a lot of kind of avenues to follow. Um, now with neural machine translation, there are so many, and it's kind of a case of it's it's developing so fast. There there are new developments on a on a monthly basis, and we kind of don't necessarily know where it's going to be. But there's excitement behind that, so we're projecting, and that projection can come across like hype. Um, and so it's I think we still th there is promise there, but we need to, we still need to temper things a little bit. Yeah. 